we are introducing a new SCA crosshair laser collimator which improves the laser alignment at an even higher degree. Since the successful introduction of the patented SCA laser collimator, there have been many great testimonials. We would like to emphasize the benefit of the SCA mechanism on a laser collimator. The self-centering mechanism not just centers the laser collimator in the focuser, but most importantly, is able to remove the focuser slot problem and provide a firm, repeatable connection for an accurate collimation without the mercy of the locking thumbscrew. It is very important for a laser collimator to be accurately and firmly loaded in the focuser because the laser is extremely sensitive to any misalignment. Any minute locking error from the thumbscrew or focuser locking mechanism to the collimator will be revealed. Here is an example of the locking error on a focuser using a non-SEA laser collimator. Let's look at the projecting laser dot on the primary while locking the laser. You can see here the displacement before and after locking the laser. If you lock the thumb screw at different pressure level, you will get a different result. You see the shifting of the collimator on the focuser? This error will cause inaccurate telescope collimation even if the laser is perfectly aligned. Our SEA laser collimator solves this installation inconsistency with the SEA mechanism without using the thumbscrew. The laser collimator is a simple and excellent tool to align your telescope because of its level of sensitivity. The self-centering mechanism corrects the small centering error and provides repeatable installation for an accurate collimation. Our single dot laser collimator provides simple and easy to aim collimation. On top of it, our new crosshair laser can dramatically enhance center and visual cue during the final fine adjustment of the secondary and primary mirror. The crosshair laser retains the original bright center dot for a quick guiding and furthermore, the extended crosshair line improves the visual cue for higher and easier precision adjustment. During the secondary mirror adjustment, the usual laser dot sometimes is hard to tell if it is in the exact center of the donut. Given the condition, the center region is clean. The crosshair lines acting as an extension of the laser dot will show around the donut with four cross cues so users can easily identify if the laser is adjusted to the center of the donut. The crosshair is also extremely helpful during the primary mirror collimation when the returning laser dot disappears back into the laser hole on the target grid. Let's take a closer look. Most time, user will have to guess the diffraction rings from the laser for a concentric glow on the target grid. With the help of the crosshair, user can still adjust the laser to the center of the target grid, even the center dot disappears. The crosshair serves as an extension of the center dot as an effective visual cue which continues to guide the user to its final centering. 